Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Monster Brina guys. Another dirt bike video. We have yet again another brand new dirt bike. I don't know. It's in this big old tail box. So this is completely different than what I'm used to getting. You guys are used to seeing the Apollos. As you can see, we have three Apollo bikes in the garage. Um, we have the RFZ, don't mind my KTM bike. Uh, the RFZ, the 007, and then the Apollo 250. But now, this time, I decided, you know what, let me try something different. We got a Teo Teo dirt bike, or Tao Tao. I don't know how you guys want to pronounce it. Some people call it Teo Teo. Some people call it Tao Tao. It's however, however you want to pronounce it. I got it from the same exact website. Um, the box, so far, looks a lot bigger. I mean, you guys can see the frame of the last bike. It's like from here to there, very small. This one just looks a lot bigger. Now, I don't think the bike's going to be bigger. The other ones are a 125, 125, and then a 250. This one is a 140cc, so not much of an upgrade compared to the 125, but it is an upgrade. So we're just going to try it out, see if we like the Teo or Tao Tao better than the Apollos, which it's pretty dark in this garage. Let me turn the light on for you guys. Better than the Apollos that we have sitting here in the garage. The 007, this is the first bike I got. Um, and then I sold it to my roommate and then my other friend got the Apollo 250 while I got this one And then we had a th another friend get the uh, RFZ So then I sold this to my roommate so he has his own bike My other friend has a bike and then his brother has a bike and then we have my bike right there my own dirt bike So now I can actually start doing dirt biking videos where I can like learn wheelies I can try and hit jumps and stuff like that and actually start learning things because that's the whole thing I wanted to do so now I have my own dirt bike again finally Let's unbox it, open it up, and show you guys how to put it together. So again, first step we're going to do, we're going to put it in the middle of the driveway so we have a little bit more room, and then we're going to open the box and show you exactly what it looks like without the cardboard and all that stuff covering it. Dang. All right, so I took it out. As you can see, the cardboard is out. The bike, I don't want to say it looks bigger, but geez, I don't know if it's a new bike or what, but the bike looks super super clean i'll show you guys right now what it looks like what it's going to be like when you get it in the package these all this stuff right here the welding looks a lot stronger than i mean that's kind of weak right there but the welding the frame of the actual bike and everything like that not even the bike but the frame that holds the bike seems a lot better quality than the apollos were sent over so the so far tau tau is doing a lot better it looks a lot more clean a lot more organized i don't know if the bike is bigger than the other bikes but so far i do like what the bike looks like so so what we're gonna do um it looks like there's screws here as you can see we're gonna take off the top we're just basically gonna take the frame completely apart and how you do that is you gotta look there's gonna be like screws inside the frame that you gotta take apart i know there's some down low as you can see on each one of these it has a little screw and then a bit right here so i'm glad that it's actually one of these little hex heads or not hex heads i don't even know what they're called instead of an actual screwdriver because if you guys remember on the rfz it actually ended up stripping so this is going to be a lot easier to work with it's also going to be a lot more fun i'm excited to put this one together just because i have a good feeling that the pieces aren't missing everything looks pretty clean on the bike so we'll see here in a second this is plastic which is pretty surprising like i'm surprised this is this is like cheap plastic. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or, I mean, of course it's supposed to be like that, but I don't know if that's a good thing that it's plastic, but if you guys know, the tanks on these ones, the Apollos, they're actually metal. Like this, this cap is metal too. You can just definitely hear the difference. This one too as well. It's all metal, but this one is plastic. I'm not sure if it's going to be a weight reduction or if it's going to be like, it can break easier or what, but we're going to find out over time. But let's get this frame off so we can actually start putting the bike together. All right, just finished taking the bracket or the little, I guess, frame, the metal frame. As you can see, this is, again, this is the Apollo. It goes from here to about here. Look at how much bigger this one is compared to the Apollo. Now, I'm not saying the bike is bigger. We don't know yet until we put everything on. But the framing is a lot bigger, which means they really take care of it during shipping, which is a good thing. I mean, the bike looks clean. It, the one thing I did notice is it does not have a box with tools and other stuff like that. They just kind of pinned everything to the bike, which I'm not I'm mad at. Like, it's, it's I'm fine with it. It's just, I'm just hoping the only thing that they have is, I think, this, which I'm not sure what this is. Maybe the kick. 
No, see, this is already put in. See, on the other bikes, you had to put this in yourself, which if you don't know what this is, it's the Kickstarter um, to kickstart the bike. Uh, also, keep in mind, guys, this is my first Tao Tao bike. So, so far, I'm actually very, very impressed. The carburetor is actually in a hard spot to get to. So, that's going to be hard to play with if I ever want to swap out carburetors just because it's inside of this metal frame where it's welded and stuff. So, it might be hard to get to. Um, and if you guys want to see an in-depth tour of how to put this bike together and stuff, you don't even have to worry about that. Uh, this video isn't to break it down and show you exactly step by step. I do have a video on my channel putting together this Apollo. And all the dirt bikes are pretty much the same. The good thing about this bike, another thing that I noticed is it already came with these installed in it, which is really, really good. These are already tightened down, so it's good. I don't have to worry about that or stress about that. And these gold ones are so sexy, man. I can't wait to take off these little stickers so you can see the full orange panel. But so far, the bike looks really freaking clean. And I'm actually pretty happy about that. Let's see if they have the actual gear. They do. They have this already installed onto it, too. Um, on the other Apollos, they didn't have that. And it's got the same gear set, so it's four gears and they're all up. So one, two, three, four. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it basically shows that all the gears are up in order to get it going. So it's not like the five gears where one of them's down and the rest are up. I'm not mad about that. I mean, it is a pit bike. It's uh, only four gears, which doesn't have a lot, but I mean, it still can be very fun to ride. So I'm going to put it together now. Uh, it looks like all I have to do is put on the handlebars, put on the brakes. Once I got the handlebars, the brakes, then I put on the panels. Um, and then that's pretty much it. This one's going to be a lot easier to do. What is this? Oh, this is one of the... Yeah, so I don't even know. This plastic's not even... This is part of the chain guard, so we're good with that. I mean, the only thing to do is, honestly, the front part of it. So putting on the handlebars and then the front brake, which it looks like it's already mounted. Yeah, it's already mounted onto it. I just got to put on the front tire onto it, and then we can see. So let's do a comparison of the tire, though. While we have the tire out, we can compare the size. So as you guys can see, this is the Apollo tire. It is at an angle, so if I angle this, it is bigger. It is a bigger tire than the Apollo tire. It's kind of hard to see in the lighting, but um, just take my word for it. The, the tire is bigger in the front. It kind of competes with the 250. I know the 250 is a lot bigger. As you can see, the back wheel, this is the front, which is the bigger wheel. Doesn't even compare to the, the back wheel of the 250. But I'm still pretty happy that this tire is bigger than the other one, which means it's going to sit up higher. So let's start putting it together, and then I'll show you guys the after results. Uh-oh, I found my first actual problem with the bike. Um, so I started taking everything off. It did come with a little tool bag. It came with some a little bit extra parts. I think these are actually for the fenders. They're not extra parts. Um, and then we have a little user manual. It's kind of small compared to the other one. And then it did come with some tools. So all the tools you do need are in this bag. It was on the side of it. I took off all the panels, so everything's off. Um, I cut everything off. It's just the front panel and then the front lip part. And the problem we ran into is on the handlebars, it's missing one of the screws, which is much needed to actually hold this in tight. So which means I'm either going to have to contact them and wait like, what, three business days for them to ship something over, maybe even longer, or I got to go to the store and find something the exact same size, which sucks. So I can't ride it heavy. I'm gonna have to contact them about that, which is a problem. I, I've seen that problem happen with the Apollo. Uh, every time they ship it over, there's always something missing. One of the screws is missing or something like that. Ooh, look, it's, I think the oil is air cooled with this. The other Apollos didn't have that. So it's cool that it's got an air cooler for the uh, oil. Not sure, this is kind of dangerous because it could get dirty. You gotta make sure you clean this. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more maintenance, but I mean the car the bike won't overheat as much and this plate Okay, this thing peels off. I was gonna say this looks like it's gonna uh, Melt But it looks like it's a film that I got to peel off Not sure how it's gonna look but all right Let me put these on as far as I can with this missing its thing um, And then I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, you guys I just finished it didn't take long It only took about an hour which compared to the first Apollo I ever did that was like five to six hours The second Apollo I did was about three hours and then this one literally only took an hour I am hot sweaty It's hot out here as you can tell it is getting darker out the sun's about to go down The only thing that I have to do is peel off these stickers because it is an all orange bike But I'm gonna keep those on for now until I have it fully changed I'm also going to change the oil, but for now I just want to put gas in it. I went to the store got gas Fill it up with gas, turn the bike on so you guys can hear how it sounds. And if you guys want to see what it looks like with these stickers off, stay tuned for another video. Subscribe to the channel. But for now, let's get this bad boy filled up. Damn, it can hold a lot of gas, actually. Mm. 
very surprised with how much gas it actually can hold. So if you guys don't know, this this jet jug is about a two gallon jug and it pretty much held the, the entire jug. I am so red and hot right now. Let's do a startup so we can actually hear the bike. Hopefully it starts first kick. I already know it's not going to just because it's a brand new bike. Uh, let's get it off the stand. Oh, it, it sits pretty far down on the kickstand, but let's get the keys and let's start it up. The brakes are locked. I don't know if it's locked up because it's in gear, which now that I'm thinking about it, it probably, you guys probably can hear the bugs over me, but it's probably in gear. That's why it's kind of locked up. The bike sits really high actually compared to the other one. It sits a lot higher than the uh, actual Apollo, which I'm actually very happy with the ride height. Suspension is pretty bouncy. All right, yeah, so it wasn't gear, see? Now it's freely moving. These uh, handlebars look kind of crooked. I'm gonna have to adjust it, but let's get it started. See if it starts like first kick. I knew it wasn't going to. Okay, so I gotta keep the choke all the way open. We're gonna let it warm up a little bit. It actually started quicker than I thought it would. So we're gonna let it idle for a little bit. It sounds weird. I'll probably replace the exhaust because I don't like the way the exhaust sounds. But. All right, it was smoking and it did not smell right. I don't know if it came with oil. I should check the oil level, which, where's the oil level on this thing? Is it in this dipstick? I have a feeling that they did not put oil in the bike. Now these other Apollos came with oil automatically in it, so it was ready to ride. Um, but it was smoking and smelling weird, so I'm not sure if they have oil in this. I'm sorry for the lighting, you guys. But let's check this dipstick real quick. No, there's oil in it. I don't know why it was smelling like that. I don't want to ride it. It's starting to rain too. I don't want to ride it with it smelling like that. I do want to change the oil before I do that. And then I'm going to tighten everything down. But there you guys have a quick sound test of what it sounds like. I'm sorry this video was rushed. It's kind of getting dark. I got home from work late. But the Tao Tao so far, 140cc looks a lot better than the other bikes. I mean, it actually has very nice panels on it. It looks like an actual dirt bike panel compared to uh, like this one right here. This one kind of just looks like it's hard to see in this lighting, but this one just looks a little off. Tomorrow in tomorrow's video, what I'll do for you guys is I'll bring this one out. I'll have the oil change. I'll have it ready to ride so you guys can see. I'll take the stickers off so you guys can see what it looks like and all that stuff. And then we'll compare it to the Apollo compared to the Tao Tao. Again, this is a 140cc, which is supposed to be a little bit faster. Not sure if it will be, but we will definitely see you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Guys, if you do want to see more Tao Tao videos and compare it to the Apollo so you guys can know which bike you should get for a cheaper price or if it's worth it to spend a little bit more on the Tao Tao 140, let me know in the comments below. If you guys break like 150 likes on this video, of course, I will do a top speed test of the Tao Tao 140cc. So 150 likes. The bike looks amazing. I love the ride height of it so far. 100% happy with it. The only problem was missing the bolt on this thing. If it came with that bolt, it would have been definitely my favorite order that I made from the website. But guys, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.